We got the billet black shift rod. So I did notice that this shift rod that I got from Joker. Now when I ordered this, like I said, there was a massive back order. Uh, you know, I ordered all this stuff back in March and we're mid-June now, so there's a bit of kerfuffle with Joker, but on the website now it says that this will not work with the bobber model, which I'm pretty sure was not on there when uh, when I ordered it, but you can see it is just a, just a bit too long. So I think I'm gonna take this to my buddy's shop right now. I'll ride down there and we'll machine this edge off. These these inserts are just threaded into this aluminum rod. I think that's stainless into this aluminum. So both sides will machine that down and uh, I'll probably do that right right now. <laughs> to a buddy's shop and see if we can machine down that shift rod we got the uh, joker machine belt drive cover on skeletonized looks good so we're gonna go get this shift rail shift rod machine down unfortunately it's too long so off we go March and just had a heck of a back order I you know the guys were I guess they said they did everything they can I whatever it wasn't really affecting anything but I waited uh, a good three months so if you're gonna buy anything from Joker Machine maybe go through one of their authorized dealers like uh, Rosilla and whoever I don't know because buying direct I guess they do sell but because they have a website but most stuff gets shipped out and probably could have avoided a lot of delays had I done that but anyways and also I found that uh, Revzilla had the prices for a little bit cheaper than uh, the website actually so it was cheaper to buy from a second second party than directly from them go figure anyways so when I bought that stuff back in March you know I guess not many people put them on the bobber yet and whatnot and uh, you look at the website now and, and that shift rod says will not fit the bobber so being in Canada and joke machine from the US you know I pay duty to get it here shipping so to return it with the conversion it's just it's not really worth my time or money or I'm gonna lose regardless so what I think I'm gonna do because it is a nice piece and I really like it so we're gonna go to my buddy's fab shop and see if we can machine this thing down a little bit shorter so we can uh, continue to use it and install it on the bike. So we're gonna fast forward and we will be there in a second.
going on guys so unfortunately this is where the video is going to get crappy um well you're used to my videos being crappy so maybe it's just normal but uh anyways got to the shop and brandon was working on his 2018 harley road glide that he had bought as a salvage and was in the middle of rebuilding he got a new transmission subframe all that stuff from ebay to kind of fix this thing up and uh you know, I was just kind of there helping him, and we went back and forth to the shift rod, to his Harley, to his shift rod, to his Harley, and it, I just, I just wasn't filming very well. Um, it was late; it was like almost ten o'clock at night by the time we actually got to it. So the battery on the GoPro was dead. I was on my phone; it was loud. So the rest of this video is going to be mostly pictures and voiceover. So um, here you can kind of see the two side by side. You can clearly see that the Joker machine piece is definitely longer than the standard shift rail but we don't have to take very much off uh it should be pretty straightforward um you can see the two pieces like it's it's a nice piece it's quite a bit beefier than the standard piece um very nice really happy with it um so what we did was we just quickly disassembled it pulled the the stainless threaded inserts out and we were left with the uh basic just the raw aluminum shift rod. So the plan was to lay that down uh, to the first shoulder uh, that you can kind of see in this picture. We'll take the taper all the way off and then give us our own taper, and that should give me enough clearance to run the, the shift rod. Um, and so here's kind of what you see what we did. It was pretty simple. We just took the uh, that edge off and just give a nice little bevel to kind of give it, give it a little show. So here we're going to jump into the lathe. You can kind of see as this goes, uh, we just kind of line it up and, well, here, just watch this. So we just used some tape around the finish, threw it in the draws there of the, the lathe and we just milled the end off. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy, pretty clean. And then once we had the end off, we just threw the chamfer bit on there and uh, just took a chamfer down, just kind of easy edge, kind of make it look the way it was before, but obviously that anodizing would come off and you'd be left with some raw aluminum, but it wasn't a big deal, at least not for me. Um, I'm sure a joke will come up with something that'll fit the bobber, but for me, this is just get it done, get it on the bike, so this is what worked. So again, this is what I was left with. But uh, having shaved those down quite a bit, um, that didn't leave as much threads for the stainless steel insert. So what we ended up doing was tapping it in further to uh, uh, so we could thread the rod. Basically what happened was Joker did a blind hole. They didn't tap it all the way, so we kind of tapped it further down, which gained us quite a bit of thread engagement, uh, more than safe for the right-handed thread, but on the other side was a left-handed thread. So because we didn't have a left-handed tap, and Brennan's a, a smart guy there, all he did was cut some flutes into the stainless steel rod. And because we're using stainless threading into aluminum, uh, it was no problem cutting it in. So I actually threaded this in, double nutted to the end, threaded it in, backed off, threaded it in, backed it off, used cutting fluid, and chased my own threads further into the rod blew out the shavings once we had it nice and clean then i threw in some thread uh, wow can't talk threw in some red loctite threaded it in let that set up uh, both sides and then we put the ends back on one of the captured captured heim joints and uh adjusted it we had pre-measured the eye to eye of the old one and just reassembled it the exact same way and this is how it turned out i'm pretty happy with it and so here are some pictures. You can kind of see it installed on the bike. I've got about maybe another 300 kilometers on this uh, shift rod. And it could be completely my imagination or maybe when I was fiddling with the heim joints or whatever. But I swear the bike shifts better. I don't, I don't know how that's possible. There's less deflection in the line. But my 1-2 shift, I don't get nearly as many miss shifts as I used to. Um, as any of you guys with the bobbers or have ridden one, you know that that one to two shift is a tricky one sometimes. If you're not very dutiful with that shift, it'll miss. And 
it just, I swear, I swear it, it feels better. Could be my mind, maybe not, but uh, quite like the overall look. Pretty happy with it. And uh, this was definitely a worthwhile mod, in my opinion. Hope you guys love the video. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.